Pistol grip pump on my lap at all times. Pistol grip pump on my lap at all times. You be by effing with other ninja stuff, but you ain't effing with mine. What's up, people? How's it going? This is disturbing, this video. These groups want guys with guns to take our guns. These guys are, these groups, these groups that think they're saving the world by having guys with guns come after us legal gun owners. Okay. I'm going to be interrupting this video a lot. This video is from Florida Rice Institute. They only have 641 subs. You should sub to this. Ban assault weapons now. That's one of the groups. You see how these, they're going to lie and stress the truth and bend reality. Complete liars. And somehow these are the people who get things on the ballot. All right. I'm going to be interrupting this a lot. If you don't want to hear me, go to the go to Florida Rights Institute. Click the bell like I just did. Okay, here we go. Intended to effectively end the Second Amendment. And here we go. And here we go. Just put in a new uh, router. And I'm getting this every five and I five every 10 to 15 minutes is doing this. Shut off the Wi-Fi, turn it back on. Hello and welcome back to the Florida Rights Institute informational video series. This is a special video covering the coming attack on gun owners in Florida by Ban Assault Weapons Now and Stop the Killing Committee. This is a warning of coming ballot initiatives intended to effectively end the Second Amendment and imprison peaceful gun owners. The following presentation is meant for informational purposes only and is not intended as legal advice. Seek a licensed attorney if you need legal assistance. The Ban Assault Weapons Now PAC initiative was founded by Gail Schwartz and the... There's the phone number, people. You want to confront these gun grabbers, these socialist gun grabbers? They Something happened to a few of their kids, so now they want guys with guns to come after us. The rest of the world has to be punished. They're not going after, you know, I'll get to that in a second. Treasurer is Gloria Maggiolo. They have a website at www.bawnfl.org, and they're headquartered in Miami, Florida. It consists of mainly family and survivors of the Parkland and Pulse shootings. Okay, so... They're not mad at the politicians who made their, their school a gun-free killing zone. It's a, there's a reason they pick schools, people, because you're not allowed to have a gun there. The chances of there being a gun there are slim. They're not mad at the politicians for sending their kids to a killing zone. They're they're not mad at uh, the coward county sheriff's office, the cop who was there and didn't do anything, and the cops that came and didn't do anything. I think a couple of the cops who actually responded got in trouble for responding, for doing the right thing. Consists of mainly family members and survivors of the Parkland and Paul shootings. One is a killing zone and one is a bar where nobody was armed and they were all sitting ducks. Okay. The Ban Assault Weapons Now PAC initiative is a deceptively titled ban on assault weapons that really bans most rifles. The text. Okay, the term assault weapon is an, a totally, totally erroneous term. It means nothing. Assault is a verb. Like if I had a knife and I assaulted, with you, assaulted you with it, does it become an assault knife or is it just a knife still? If I assault you with a baseball bat, is it an assault bat, assault tennis racket, assault golf club, assault handgun? Summary states that it prohibits possession of assault weapons defined as semi-automatic rifles and shotguns capable of holding more than 10 rounds of ammunition at once, either in... Which is most semi-automatic rifles and some shotguns. Fixed or detachable magazine, or any other ammunition feeding device. Possession of handguns not prohibited. It exempts military and law enforcement personnel and their official Oh, it exempts military and law enforcement personnel and their official duties. So the, it exempts the people who kill the most people with guns. The people who kill the most people with guns are exempt from this assault weapon ban. 
Understand this, people. Special duties, exempts, and requires registration of assault weapons lawfully possessed prior to this provision's effective date and creates criminal penalties for violations of this amendment. They're deceptive. So they're saying, let me go back. Law enforcement person. So they're saying it requires a registrant of assault weapons lawfully possessed prior to the provision's effective date. So register your guns. Every ban on guns across the, the history of the world started off with registration. It always leads to confiscation. And if and it says if you don't register your, your rifle, it creates criminal penalties for the violations of this amendment. So they want their guys with guns to come get you and use weapons against you. They want to use... The, they want the people who kill the most people, military and law for, enforcement, to, to be exempt from having assault weapons and rifles. And they want them to be used against people who dare to have the freedom of having those type of weapons. Now in their official duties, exempts and requires registration of assault weapons lawfully possessed prior to this provision's effective date and creates criminal penalties for violations of this amendment. Their deceptive language is also on their website. It states, again and again, we've stood witness to innocent lives lost to the hands of madmen armed with military-style assault weapons like the AR-15. Again and again, our elected leaders have failed to act on getting these weapons of war out of civilian hands. For our children, for our families, for our loved ones, for our communities, we must act where our politicians have failed to. Their language is full of deceptions and lies. For example, when they say assault weapons, that is a lie. Assault weapons literally means a gun that can shoot fully automatic. That is... Which were banned in 1986. And you have to get like a special uh, license or trust or something and you need at least $3,000 to buy one. And barely anyone has one. And they were never used in any shooting except a, a bank in uh, California. And those guys were foreigners who got the guns illegally machine gun. They use it loosely to define any rifle that can take a magazine. They also say weapons of war. The AR-15 is not a weapon of war. It has never been used as such because it's not. A I'm sure most people are surprised to hear that the AR-15 has never been used as a weapon of war. Ever. Not a weapon of war. As a matter of fact, it is strictly a civilian rifle because the military doesn't use AR-15s. They use M-16s with select fire and burst fire and uh, semi-auto fire switches on them. Fully automatic machine gun. They say military style. There is nothing military style about having a gun that shoots a 22 round with a magazine. Military style is a specific standardization for the military that does not match the operation of a privately held AR styled gun. Ban assault weapons now is attempting to suggest that they only want to ban military style assault weapons, but in reality, they're banning most sporting and home defense rifles that. You understand that? They want to ban almost every gun and they use deceptive lie. They're liars. These people, all these liars got together, they decided that guns are the problem instead of the culture, which is what is really the problem is the culture. And their politicians put their kids in killing zones, but they don't blame the politicians. They don't blame the cops who didn't act on the shooter. They blame the inanimate object. Except a magazine. Worse... They lie about the gun, saying that it is some tool for murder. In reality, with over 6 million privately owned AR-styled guns, there have only been 13 mass murders involving ARs since 2004. That means 99.999% plus of private ARs are not used for mass murder. So think about that. 99.9999% of private owned ARs are not used for mass. They're not even used. They're sitting in a safe like mine has been for 10 years. It's it's lies, people. This is lies, and this will be on the ballot in Florida. This is disgusting. Ban assault weapons now is also deceptively sneaking in a gun registration form. They are attempting to create a registry held by police for gun owners. Registries are a dangerous political tool, as has been seen, where governments use the databases for political targeting and persecution. The purpose of the Second Amendment is specifically to be on guard against tyranny, and a registry would undermine that purpose by making it easier to enact political persecution. The other political action committee attempting to end gun ownership in Florida is the Stop the Killing Committee initiative. It was founded by Donald Leslie Cleveland and the treasurer is Donald Cleveland. Their website. There's the 
phone number for them, 561-460-5917. Call them. It is www.stopthekilling.us. They're headquartered out of Boca Raton and it consists of mainly anti-gun extremists who wish to completely abolish the right to bear arms. The Stop the Killing Committee initiative is a deceptively titled ban on assault weapons that really bans most handguns and rifles and repeals self-defense in the Florida Constitution. The text summary states, This amendment recognizes the Florida National Guard and other organized police forces as the well-regulated militia of the state. And So they're trying to rewrite the Florida Constitution and the federal Constitution, basically, and say that the National Guard is the militia. I don't even think the National Guard existed when the the Second Amendment was written. Authorizes them to keep and use military-style weapons. Possession of military-style weapons is prohibited except for the militia. Other persons convicted of various types of crimes or investigated for abuses are also prohibited from possessing guns or firearms. The text of the bill unveils their sinister intents. It states, the weapons shall include, but are not limited to, fully automatic weapons, assault weapons, large magazine weapons holding more than seven rounds of ammunition, and magazines with capacity over seven rounds. No other person entering or residing in the state shall possess any weapon or firearm that functions like or has the capacity of a military style weapon military style weapon that whole paragraph was erroneous 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 lies means any gun with a magazine capacity of more than seven rounds of ammunition or any weapon capable of firing in fully automatic mode any weapon capable of being modified in any manner to fire in a fully automatic mode or any weapon classified as a sniper rifle any person other than the well-regulated militia who possesses such a gun or weapon shall within one year of the enactment of this section surrender that gun or weapon to the local police or militia at which time that gun or weapon shall be destroyed possessing such a gun or weapon thereafter shall be a felony with punishment by up to one year in prison So they want the guys with military-style weapons to come get you because guns are dangerous. They want the guys who kill the most people to use their military-style weapons that can be modified to full automatic at any time. They want them to use their guns on you. And you can't have your guns even though you've done nothing to no one. Again, they're not mad at the politicians who made gun-free killing zones They're not mad at the coward county cops who didn't save their kids when the cop just sat outside like a little biatch. They're mad at gun owners. Think about that, people. I wonder where they get these ideas. The deceptive language continues on their website, which states, Sportsmen don't need assault rifles or large clip guns. Sportsmen? Who said anything about sportsmen? This is another deflection. The Second Amendment is not about sportsmanship. It's not about hunting. It's about tyranny what you're trying to enact in the florida constitution hunt or compete in marksmanship events and mass shootings have been increasing over the past 20 years and it wouldn't be possible without military grade weapons the deceptive line sportsmen don't need assault rifles is an attempt to undermine fundamental rights this statement is a plank of communism which bases property rights on need the committee is attempting to turn rights into privileges military grade weapons is also deceptive the guns they are looking to ban include every single handgun and rifle capable of holding more than seven rounds this has nothing to do with military grade standards but is used to scare people into thinking that common sporting and defense arms are somehow especially dangerous because they have magazines. The Stop the Killing Committee is effectively trying to ban most privately owned guns in the state of Florida as most popular handguns have magazines that hold more than seven rounds and most popular rifles take magazines that can hold more than seven rounds. Stop the Killing also lies about mass shootings. They say mass shootings have been increasing over the past 20 years. This is just an outright lie. Mass shootings as defined by the FBI take place when four or more victims are murdered within one event and in one or more locations in a close geographical proximity. These kinds of shootings have been at relative lows along with nationwide violent crime. In fact, a study performed at... So gun crime and violent crime has been going down. This is the facts. Gun crime and crime in general, violent crime has been going down. Down. The opposite of what these liars are saying. At Northeastern University shows mass murders relatively declining over the years, and also school shootings as well. Pew Crime notes that crime rates have fallen since the early 90s, but that public perception of crime is at odds with the data due to mass media lying and manipulating. And a reminder here that all gun laws are enforced by men with guns.
police. All gun laws are inherently a threat of gun violence against people for possessing property and wishing to defend themselves and their loved ones. If you're like me and very concerned about this situation, there are some action steps to take to stop this threat. It's time to create flyers and brochures debunking the myths surrounding AR-style guns. It's time to protest near the signature gatherers and hand out flyers and brochures to help people understand the lies and manipulations. It's time to create viral videos and memes to share about the manipulations of ban assault weapons now and stop the killing committee. Write and submit op-eds to papers across Florida exposing the manipulations. Form a counter amendment to preserve the right to bear arms in Florida. There are also several support organizations which may help with this process in resisting this gun confiscation, and that includes Florida Carry, Gun Owners of America, the Second Amendment Foundation, Liberty First Network, and the Florida Tenth Amendment Center. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to get educated on this topic and watch this video. It's important that we work together to fight this assault on innocent people who are simply trying to live their lives and enjoy their fundamental rights. For more informational and educational videos, please subscribe to this channel. Take care. Everything. So, uh, wow, what a great meme on this next video. I could just go from video to video, but you know, I'm not going to do that all day. Anyway, there you go. Bond and whatever that other committee is, they, they're liars. How can straight liars get a ballot on the, the amendment on the get a whatever an amendment on the ballot? This is oh god, another thing that just bugs the living hell out of me. People, let me tell you something. The reason we're not a complete communist socialist state, complete police state, is because of the Second Amendment, is because there's a hundred million plus of us gun owners. And we could flip any military on its head unless they use nukes against us before you guys say, well, they got nukes. Yeah, if they're willing to nuke everybody, we can't do nothing. But there's no planes and tanks and none of that is enough to match up against the American gun owners. And that's what the Second Amendment's about. That's what the truth of it is. Our government's been out of control for a long time. And the reason they're not completely out of control and have abolished the Constitution in general is because we have a Second Amendment. And people have a lot of guns. And we can't actually put up a resistance. So call these people up. The more calls, the better. Make it so they can't function. Make it so they can't do business over their phones. This is a good tactic, believe it or not. I used the phone many, many times in uh, battling some things I've had to go through. Um, all right. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. All that good stuff. John's coin rings on Etsy if you want to get a nice Christmas gift. All right. Bye.